Where is Santa's cat? By T. Ferries. Let me tell you a story about what happened one time when Santa went to get his Christmas tree. It happened 250 years ago to the day. Santa's cat, Iris, accompanied Santa to the enchanted forest. She wanted to visit her friends, the three little kittens. Iris decided to take a nap, as cats will do, while Santa was busy looking at trees. Who do you think appeared? The Dark Fairy. She thought it would be funny to catnap Santa's cat. She changed into a blue squirrel and told Iris that the three little kittens had moved. She also said she knew the way to their new house. She told Iris to follow her. Iris did. Santa came back and did not see Iris in the spot he left her. He called and called, but she did not come. He had to go find her. Where could she be? After leading Iris deep into the enchanted forest, the blue squirrel stopped. She looked at Iris and poof! She changed back into the dark fairy. The fairy laughed and disappeared. She knew Santa would look for Iris and now she decided she would trick him too. Iris decided to go look for the three little kittens house on her own. After a long walk, she came to a house with three bears. Do you know who they are? She asked the mother bear, Do you know where the three little kittens live? Mother bear said, Yes, dear. Just follow this road and you will see a sign at the fork in a road. When you come to the fork in the road, take it. I have heard the kittens have lost their mittens again and have begun to cry. It seems this happens every day. Iris said, Oh, I hope they find them. Maybe I can help them look. Iris left and found the sign and the fork in the road. She took it. Soon she came to a brick house and three pigs were inside. Who can they be? She knocked on the door. The pigs yelled, Wolf! Wolf! Big bad wolf! Go away! They did not come to answer the door. She continued down the road and met another cat. She asked, Pussycat, where have you been? The pussycat answered, I've been to London to visit the Queen. Iris asked, And what did you there? The cat replied, I caught a mouse under the Queen's chair. Now I am on my way to Bremen Town. I am a musician. And he played her a tune on his fiddle. He is quite a fine fiddler. Iris said, That was very nice of you to help the Queen, and your fiddle playing is superb. Do you know the way to the three little kittens' house? The cat replied, Keep on going on this road, and you will find the house. When I passed by, they had not found their mittens and were not happy. It seems this happens every day. Iris hurried on down the road. She sang a little song, It's bad for a kitten to lose a mitten, and in a bit she found the house. The kittens were outside looking for their mittens, so they could have some pie, blackbird pie, and in the pie were four and twenty blackbirds. Meanwhile, Santa was very upset and worried. He knew he had to search the enchanted forest for Iris. First he asked the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man said the dark fairy had changed into a blue squirrel and tricked Iris into following her. He said they went east. Santa hurried off to find Iris. He hoped she was not in danger. Then he saw Little Red Riding Hood. He asked her if she had seen Iris. She said she saw her go south with a blue squirrel. Santa thanked her and hurried off, southbound. He came upon a blue fox. He had never seen a blue fox before. Have you? He hoped the fox could help him. He asked her if she had seen Iris. The fox yawned as she had just woken up and said, Oh yes, the little white cat that went north to Bremen Town. She was following a blue squirrel. I was too tired to chase them. Santa turned around and headed north. After he took a few steps, the fox turned into the dark fairy, laughed and disappeared. She had tricked Santa. Santa hurried. He was frantic. Where was Iris? Was she okay? He talked to the three little pigs. They had not seen her. They asked if he had seen any wolves. He walked and worried. Where could Iris be? He passed a carnival. A boy named Simon wanted some pie, but he had not a penny. Everyone was having fun. 
Santa was not. Next, he came to the troll bridge. As he crossed it, the troll jumped up and bellowed, Who is crossing my bridge? Santa, quite surprised, replied, It is I, Santa Claus. The mm. troll laughed. You don't look like Santa. He has long ears and a fluffy white tail. And where is your basket with eggs? Santa was stuck. What could he do? Now on this day, Jack Frost was in the enchanted forest, changing the colour of the trees. The green became beautiful fiery shades of red and golden orange. He was almost to the troll bridge. Jack arrived and saw Santa was stuck. The troll would not let him pass. <gasps> Jack told Santa, I can take care of this troll. What do you think he did? Jack used his frost to freeze the troll. He said, don't worry, Santa, he will thaw soon. You can cross the bridge now. Santa thanked Jack and said, this Christmas, only coal for the troll. Jack laughed and went back to changing the colour of the leaves. Santa crossed the bridge and saw the billy goats gruff. They said they had not seen Iris. Santa was becoming more worried by the minute. Peter Pan and Tinkerbell said she went east. They heard her singing something about kittens and mittens. Santa hurried off to the east. Tinkerbell had wanted to ask Santa about her cousins, the sugar plum fairies, but she understood he was too worried about Iris. Soon he arrived at the house of the seven dwarves. Two were outside working on chairs. Snow White was in the yard singing to the birds. She loves to sing. She said, excuse me, I don't think we've met. I am Snow White, who are you? Santa Claus, replied Santa. Have you seen a little white cat? asked Santa. Snow White said she did see a cat and thought it was white, but she was busy talking to an old woman with apples. She asked if Santa would like the apple the woman gave her. She hadn't eaten it yet. He said, no, thank you. Did you see which way the cat went? Snow White said she thought the cat went north, but it may have gone south. What a mess. Will Santa ever find her? Santa called and called for his friend Iris. She did not come. He did not know that by now she was safe at the Three Little Kittens' house. At the Three Little Kittens' house, Iris helped the kittens find their mittens, and their mother was very happy. She gave them all blackbird pie. Cats love blackbird pie. After playing kitten games for a bit, Iris said she needed to get back to Santa. He would be worried, so she headed out back to the gingerbread man's house. Santa was walking hopelessly when Iris came upon him. He yelled, Iris, and she ran and jumped into his arms. He was so happy, they went back to the gingerbread man's tree farm. Iris promised she would never follow a blue squirrel again. When they arrived at the gingerbread man's tree farm, there was only one tree left. The elves had bought all the others. It was a small scrawny tree, but that didn't matter. It was a Christmas tree and Santa was so happy he found Iris. I hope you liked the story. It really did happen. Be careful when someone you don't know, especially a blue squirrel, wants you to follow them. Always tell your parents where you are. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.